One big bank buying another. UBS has agreed to buy its troubled rival Credit Suisse for over $3 billion. The deal was orchestrated by Swiss officials to help calm the world banking markets. Hours after that deal, the Federal Reserve and other global central banks announced a coordinated effort to keep credit available for households and businesses. But some analysts still have concerns and questions with fears of a recession within the next year. Market watchers watching the Fed this week. The Federal Reserve's Open Market Committee begins its next two-day meeting tomorrow to decide where interest rates will go from here. A last-minute witness is scheduled to testify today before a grand jury investigating former President Donald Trump. Bob Costello is an attorney and longtime Trump ally who at one point represented Trump's former fixer, Michael Cohen. That comes after Trump's claim this weekend that his arrest is coming as soon as tomorrow. This is all related to alleged hush money paid to adult film actress Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. Chinese leader Xi Jinping is in Russia meeting with President Vladimir Putin. It's his first time in Moscow since Russia invaded Ukraine more than a year ago. The three-day trip is likely to be viewed by the West as a powerful show of support for Putin. The U.S. is keeping a close eye on developments and watching for any signs that China is moving forward with providing military aid to Russia. Today marks 20 years since the start of the war in Iraq. The U.S.-led invasion resulted in the fall of Saddam Hussein, but also the rise of ISIS. Now, by the U.S.'s withdrawal in 2011, at least 4,480 U.S. deaths had occurred and more than 32,000 people were injured. A warning today from the United Nations Climate Panel that the world is in jeopardy of meeting the goals of the Paris Climate Accord. That agreement is aimed at limiting warming on Earth, but global greenhouse gas emissions are at their highest levels in human history. The panel's report offers several steps governments need to take to get closer to reaching that goal. The maker of a popular powdered infant formula is voluntarily recalling one of its products. Perigo Company is recalling some of its Gerber Good Start Soothe Pro Powder Infant Formula because it may be contaminated with bacteria. Customers with a product should toss it out and they can ask the company for a refund. Thousands of Americans still can't afford to go back to work. Bank of America estimates nearly 400,000 people in their prime working years cannot find affordable child care or instead staying home to care for their kids. And that's today's Nine at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.